A U.S. Marine and U.S. Navy sailor are going head to head in a fiery competition to see who can handle the spiciest and hottest chip in the world. Fox Carolina's Joe Gagnon is live in Greenville with more on how you can take part in all this. Hey, Joe. Good morning, you guys. Yes, these two veterans are going to be going head to head to see who can take on this packy one chip challenge. It is going to be so hot, so incredibly hot, hotter than any chip they've ever made before because it's made with Carolina's very own Carolina Reaper Pepper. And so it's going to be going down right here behind me at the Cigar Experience. It won't be open to the public, but you will be able to check it out on Facebook Live and also be able to donate to an amazing organization helping out veterans all over the upstate. And so this is a face-to-face match-off between Marine veteran Luke Ross and Navy veteran Van David Vernon. And they are going to do battle this Saturday at 7.30. We interviewed Van David himself, and he was telling us about where he got this idea and if he's ready for the super spicy chip. I did the hottest wing challenge, and it's like, you gotta eat these wings and so, in so much amount of time. So I went ahead and ate it, and I said, like, where do I win from? And it's like, all right, you get this T-shirt. So got that T-shirt and took it home. But I love spicy food. I love it with passion. I don't know how spicy this is. They're saying this is a different type of spicy. So, you know, <laughs> at first I was like, no problem. But now they're making me nervous. <laughs> yeah, I've had those wings at Quaker Steak, and I've also had this chip before me with the Carolina Reaper. This chip is so hot. But make sure you donate as well. Go to the Facebook page and the Facebook Live for the Van David uh, organization that he made to help out veterans right here in the upstate. And you can take part and see the pain in action. Back to you guys. All right, two tough men there, and so I'm sure that they're going to battle it out till the very end. Joe, thanks so much.